Hello, folks. My name is Brian Cavanaugh. I'm the founder and co-CEO at Free TV. That's F R E E T V E E dot com. Um, thank you for joining today. We have uh, weekly Wednesday webinars that are actually free. Uh, we want to help educate people. Unfortunately, there's a lot of misinformation or just a lack of information out there about cord cutting in general and how to truly save money. Uh, so anyway, uh, if you go to our website, click right in the middle there on watch a webinar, uh, that'll take you to all future topics as well. And the other thing during the webinar too, uh, I'll get to some, uh, you know, kind of Q and a stuff. We're going to cover a lot of different topics today related to, you know, the best and the top, uh, free apps, uh, for TV and quite frankly, um, even more, uh, music, um, and really even photos and things like that too. So there's a lot of really cool stuff out there that's actually free. Hence the name free TV. We're all about, you know, what's, what's free and uh, legal. Obviously we've been in business for 10 years, Ray plus in the BBB. Uh, so everything we do is legit. Um, there is, you know, certainly plenty of illegitimate, illegal stuff out there, but that's not us. Uh, so if you're looking for that, go elsewhere. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, if you have any questions while we're discussing things throughout, uh, just put them in the chat on the side of your YouTube live. Uh, you can also subscribe probably towards the bottom there to our free TV channel. Um, get lots of you know tips and tricks and other you know kind of free things and you know really if you kind of take free TV at a high level, uh, you know we exist to help people obviously cut the cord and save money but also just to make sure they're doing it right. Um, we're all about giving people the best options to get away from cable and satellite, but still get all the same channels and services they like. Uh, and, you know, cord cutting is not easy. It's, it's, it's pretty challenging. There's a lot of different things going on, a lot of different technologies and hardware and software and things that you have to bring together uh, to make it work right. So, Really, that's a big part of what we do. You know, you just sit back and relax. We take care of everything, uh, you know, to make sure that it's easy to use and that, you know, your spouse doesn't have you sleeping on the couch because they're frustrated with your setup and it's difficult to use. Um, the history of, of myself uh, and how Free TV started, just to give you a little bit of background there, I actually used to work for big corporate telecom. We peddled, you know, direct TV. I worked for US West, Quest, Central for 13 years. And really, in essence, I just got tired of all the nonsense. Uh, you know, there's a lot of lot of poor customer service and bait and switch pricing and expensive prices, and you know, it was just really difficult to uh, you know to to kind of live in that atmosphere when people were getting abused. So I started Free TV to try to help people out. Uh, you know, like I said before, it's not easy doing what we do. It's it's a bit challenging, but. Uh, I think we do a good job out, obviously at it because you know we got nothing but five star reviews if you Google us, and we've been doing this for ten years. We're A plus in the BBB. So, if you do need help uh, and you're new to new to free TV, what I would suggest is the best way is to go up here to our website. You know, it's f r double e t v double e dot com. So eight letters free and then t v e e dot com. If you schedule a call, that's for new customers. We schedule a one-on-one -on -one personalized consultation. It's really the best way to kind of get down to the nitty gritty because everybody's situation is different. We're not like cable and satellite where we shove you into something. If it doesn't fit for you, we'll just tell you straight up like, hey, keep paying 200 bucks a month for your cable and satellite. You know, it's not a good fit for you. But honestly, nowadays, like 98% of the cable channels are available. Um, believe it or not, even something like, for instance, you know, the, uh, the Rockies, the Colorado Rockies baseball, uh, that even became available for cord cutters recently. We just wrote a blog article on that. If you go to the, the news section of our website, there's a blog article on that. We'll actually be hosting a webinar next week. So if you have any uh, sports fans, friends, family, whatever, or, or yourself, obviously, uh, you can go to watch a webinar here and sign up for next week's webinar and all of our webinars. We have different topics every week. Next week's webinar is going to be all about uh, sports as a cord cutter and how you can get that uh, either for free or for really inexpensive and no contracts. Um, you know, our average customer saves $1,500 every year, not just a one-time bait and switch like cable and satellite, but ongoing. So significant. Um, so anyway, free TV as a company, we're here to help. Uh, we support cord cutting in all forms. 
Uh, we're really about kind of three things, saving people the most money every month, making sure you have the freedom to do what you want, when you want, you know, no contracts. We actually have a lot of free options, hence the name free TV. We'll cover a lot of those today, obviously. Um, and the other thing is just ease of use. So you don't have to be a rocket scientist to watch TV. You know, it's, it's super simple, one remote control, one interface for everything. I'll show you some of that as we get through the, uh, the webinar here as well. So you can kind of check that out. Um, to start though, uh, we're talking about streaming today and a lot of free apps mainly. Uh, there's really two sources for TV. So the first source that uh, we have separate webinars on that I'll touch a little bit on today, a lot of people have kind of forgotten about, unfortunately, but it's really the most powerful thing out there is an antenna. So one source for TV as a cord cutter that we recommend is an antenna. I won't go into the whole, whole details a whole, a whole lot today, but I'll touch on that towards the end a little bit more. And antenna is great because it has nothing to do with your internet. You get like 50, 60 channels for free. All your major local network channels are totally free. So you get every single Broncos game, all the major networks, local news, all the main shows for zero dollars a month. We don't do the little cheapo indoor antennas because they're cluttering up your house. You got to put one on every TV. And quite frankly, most important, they just don't work. The reception's terrible. We do either attic or outdoor antennas to, to guarantee reception. Uh, the second source for TV, though, is what I'm going to get into next. And that's what we're going to be talking about a lot today. And the second source for TV as a cord cutter is streaming. You're probably familiar with things like Netflix. Uh, Netflix has been around for a while. Basically, streaming is just using an internet connection, either hardwired or via Wi Fi, to access channels, live TV, apps for a lot of different things, which we'll show you today. We're going to go through the top seven options for different apps for streaming that are free. Uh, free is good, right? <laughs> At least if it's legal. So everything we're talking about today is 100% legal. Uh, that's like I said before, we, at Free TV, we don't do anything that's illegal. We do everything that's legal. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go on the website here and just kind of show you a couple different things. Uh, like I said before, if you're new to Free TV, you can come up top here and schedule a call. For future webinars, go to watch a webinar. Um, for services here, if you click on that, that kind of breaks down the different things that we do. Um, if you scroll down a little bit on this page, you know, we install HD antennas for free TV. Um, we do a lot of different things related to uh, making it easy to use, which is kind of what the flexible freedom is about. We also have happy streamer package, which basically you have to have the right hardware, you have to have the right streaming media player and the right internet connection with not really super high speeds, a lot of, a lot of misinformation there. We have separate webinars on that. Uh, you know, you, a lot of people overpay for internet you don't need. You should be able to get internet like 100 megabits per second, which is totally fine for about you know 75% of the population, which streams just fine. You can even stream with five megabits per second. We don't recommend that. Usually we recommend 20 megabits or higher speed wise. You should be able to easily get that for like 40 to 50 bucks a month. Um, for our new customers, that's actually what we help you with uh, is to make sure you're not getting gouged on your internet and you're not overpaying for that. So literally, if you kind of look at it from a high level, we take people's old cable and satellite bundle, 150, 250 a month, you know, for your phone, internet, TV bundle, we chop it down to just internet only. The reason we do that is from experience, tax on internet is less than a dollar. So that's how you really, you know, make sure your bill is under control. So you're going from, let's say $200 a month for your gigantic Comcast, Dish, Direct TV bundle down to like 40 to 50 bucks a month uh, for internet. Still high speed internet, still doing everything you need to do. We install a separate mesh network, kind of like little mini Wi-Fi mesh pucks. And that just makes it so your network is rock solid, not just for streaming, but everything in life is dependent on your network nowadays. Work from home stuff, kids schooling from home. Uh, it handles the traffic better because you can prioritize sources. It makes it much easier. Uh, but most importantly, you can put these little mesh network devices throughout your house. So just blanket your house and coverage so you don't have any dead spots. So really, yes, Streaming is great, but it's not going to be great if you don't have the right hardware to do it in the first place. So that's kind of what we do, uh, obviously, for a lot of our customers and what I would recommend. Plus, it saves your rental fees. You're not having to rent your, your junky modem and router from your cable and satellite provider or your internet provider, whether that's CenturyLink or Comcast. Um, so anyway, there's a lot of technical things there. We have a separate webinar we'll cover on that stuff, but I just wanted to touch on that really quickly. Uh, we'll probably do another one of those webinars maybe in September. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, just go back to the website, watch a webinar. We always have a list there of 
upcoming webinars, usually for the next month or so. Uh, next week is covering all things sports and how to stream and how to get the Rockies, Colorado Rockies uh, streaming. But anyway, that's I wanted to kind of show you that. that. And then the last thing I'll show you here, too, is our blog. Um, so if you go to the news tab here, there's a lot of just great information in general. So we wrote one recently about the Colorado Rockies. Um, Dish is blacking out local channel 7 ABC, which is kind of ironic because you can get it for free off of the antenna. Um, there's one of the Colorado Rockies. We wrote one about uh, just kind of why cable cable TV prices um, are, are going up and up and up. So if, if you go kind of here on that one, the um, the interesting thing is that there's a lot amazing amount of free content out there, but cable and satellite, uh, you know, has, has these price increases. So we, we decided to write a blog on why that happens because it's really important dynamic to understand in the world of, of pay TV, especially if, if you have friends or family or you yourself still have cable and satellite, your bills are never going down because what's happening is there's kind of this ongoing battle between your actual provider, you know, your cable and satellite dish, direct TV, Comcast, and the content providers themselves, you know, the ESPNs and the Time Warners, um, CBS, whoever it is, right? The content prices have been going up and up and up for years and years, but 6 million people last year alone cut the cord. So there's this huge gap where cable and satellite companies have to cover that. Well, they're not going to reduce the rates because they, they're not making any money off of it, right? So if, if you're tricked into these bait and switch pricings with contracts, don't fall for that because it's actually going to get worse. It's already bad, right? It's been bad for years, which is why everybody hates cable and satellite. But it's not getting better. It's actually getting worse, which is why we do what we do and help you cut the cord with a lot of free options. So you're literally taking your $200 bill for your bundle from cable and satellite down to like 40, 50 bucks a month for internet. There's all kinds of free options. The TV antenna for your local network channels is totally free, like I was talking about before. And then I'm going to show you a whole bunch of great stuff that literally is free. And you might find that you don't even need to pay for things certain times of year. Yes, you can pay for options for cable channels. Like I said before, 98% of the cable channels are actually available. A uh, lot less money, no contracts. The ones we recommend actually give you like 40, 50, 60 channels in a bundle, cable channels, uh, for like anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks a month, believe it or not. So we'll get into those towards the end a little bit. We'll have a separate webinar on that uh, probably in the next month or so as well. But I'll touch on that a little bit today. So without further ado, let's get to the free stuff, right? That's what we came for. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is just a app. And, and there is actually a, a section here. This is kind of the interface and what we install for a lot of our customers with some other hardware. Um, it's it's actually really not just one little thing, but it's about two or three different things that kind of make it function properly and integrate everything together so you don't have, to have a bunch of remotes. So this remote actually has TV power and TV volume built into it. You don't need to change inputs back and forth. You don't need to, to you know have all this craziness and nonsense. It's literally all right here. So everything I'm going to show you today for all these free apps is actually all right in one interface. I'm not grabbing a different remote. I'm not changing TV inputs, which is where a lot of people get lost and a lot of spouses get frustrated. Um, so it's, it's really, really easy, quite frankly. So anyway, I'm in the free section here. There's a lot of, way to, a lot of ways to get to the same stuff. Um, but this is actually an Amazon product called IMDB. There's other things called Tubi. Pluto is a really cool one. Um, Pluto TV and, and all these, these other ones I'm going to show you, at least these first couple ones, they are actually supported uh, by ads. So that is the drawback. There is ways to get traditional cable channels and pay for it. I and mean, you can have a DVR and skip commercials and pause live TV and all that stuff. The, um, the stuff here is actually more of a uh, ad supported thing. So you will see commercials in these. And because it's, it's streaming and internet, they will have updates from time to time. So it's actually doing an update right now. But you can see it's pretty quick, not that, not that big a deal. It actually rarely does updates, but I haven't been in there for a while. So um, anyway, we'll go back and show you a couple free things in here. So 
this just has a whole bunch of you can see that it's kind of divided into categories so there's the popular section there's recently added um you know so there's mad men on here murder she wrote for the old school people i mean this is just like the tip of the iceberg though it's just touching on a couple things so it divides it into comedy or mystery and science um documentaries sci-fi drama so there's you know tv so there's really a whole whole bunch of stuff in here um to tune into uh and that's that's again just one app right so this free section lists out a couple there's tubi there's crackle there's pluto so there's pretty much no end to the amount of free stuff so quite frankly yes you can get 98 percent of the cable channels and and subscribe to that but really there's no there, there's no reason for a lot of people to probably even pay for for cable channels certain times of the year because there's so much free stuff out here where you can actually get just an amazing amount of content uh you know let's say it's summertime like nothing's on hey maybe i don't maybe i didn't want to pay for cable channels right so that's kind of a, a cool way to do it this is pluto um I'm gonna mute this so we don't have to over talk over everything, but they actually divide it into a bunch of different sections. Like right now we're in the sports section. They have a movie section. They have a news section. Um, you can see there's a 24 hour Star Trek channel. Uh, there's Western channel. There's comedy channels. I mean, literally the sky is the limit. And again, I'm just using this remote, super simple, right? Up, down, left, right, and then select with the center button there. Um, they have uh, pretty much about any channel you can think of. There's hundreds of channels out here. There's a cartoon channel for the kids. There's a bunch of different news channels that have just 24 seven news on there. So again, this isn't maybe the exact same thing that's on like CNN as an example but it's free. So, you know, it'll do in a pinch. And remember the antenna is a separate option that we'll talk about as well. That has literally all your live channels, ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox for free. And it's better HD quality. And literally that, that, that same 50, 60 free channels goes on all your TVs. So this is streaming, but we'll talk about the antenna here in a little bit towards the end as well. So that's the first app is just going into the free section here and you can see that pretty much anything you want, entertainment channels, news channels, sports channels, movies, old movies, old Westerns, anything you want really is out there. Um, so again, these are just different apps. You can get to it from the homepage. You can see there's IMDB, there's Pluto. We load a lot of these up for our customers on the initial install. We give you a demo, show you how to use it. So you don't have to like worry about it, remember it, setting it up all properly. Obviously the key, like I was talking about before is Having the right hardware, is this is just one piece of it, the streaming media player. But also you need to have a mesh network so your streaming is rock solid, so it's not buffering constantly and frustrating and things like that. Um, and ease of use, right? We have another little piece of hardware that we install kind of behind the scenes that integrates all everything together. So it's all in one interface and you, know, you don't have to change inputs and stuff like that. Uh, so anyway, that, those are a couple of great free things. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the home page here. Like I said, you can see I'm home, but there's also a free section, which is where we just were. Uh, the other pretty cool thing is a lot of people kind of forget about, the second app I'm gonna show you is YouTube. So a lot of people think of YouTube as cat videos and dog videos and whatever. And that's, that's all great if you like cats and dogs, but I'm gonna go into this and show you, there's actually an amazing amount of content that you can subscribe to uh, you're watching a live webinar off of YouTube right now. If you go to free TV, uh, you'll probably find, I think towards the bottom there, you can actually subscribe to our channel. So definitely uh, do that right now. Just click on subscribe to free TV. And you can see, boom, I'm in here right now. Hey, guess what? There's a free live webinar right now on YouTube TV from free TV. Well, that must be awesome. Let's tune into that. Um, just kidding, you're already there. Uh, so it kind of organizes things on the side here. It'll start recommending things, you know, based on what you watch. But if I go over to the left here, you can do things based on music. So you can get a bunch of free music stuff. Uh, there's news. So you have like news clips. 
And like I was talking about before, you can actually subscribe to channels just like you can subscribe to free TV. So as an example, like if you like Saturday Night Live, you can subscribe to Saturday Night Live skits. Um, pretty much the sky's the limit. I like volleyball. So like I, for instance, subscribe to like a lot of different volleyball channels here. You can see there's some CNN clips. You can subscribe to like certain news channels, Fox News, CNN, whatever you like. Um, you can subscribe to ESPN. Now, it's not the exact same live feed that's in ESPN, obviously, because it's free. However, uh, it's a lot of great stuff. And you can subscribe to ESPN separately through those other packages I was talking about. Like I said, next week's Wednesday free webinar is about sports. So if you're interested in sports, definitely tune into that. Um, but you can see, like, you can subscribe to the NBA and just get clips of, of different NBA things. So there's really an amazing amount of stuff that you can actually subscribe to out here. And it saves it for you, and you can just watch it on your time frame, like on demand. Uh, so it's great. You never never be sitting around bored with nothing to watch, right? And I think the other thing that we're kind of you know keying on today is the reason we we kind of do what we do is is we want to chop people's cable and satellite bills from the the two hundred dollars a month down to just internet only for like forty fifty dollars a month, and give people a lot of free and legal stuff because. It's tough, right? Times are tight right now with, with the coronavirus and with the recession. The recession is not going to be going away for a while now. I think we all know that, right? It's going to be here for a good year or two. So we're really busy because of that because we help people get their bills. You know, you know, our average customer saves $125 a month. I mean, that's huge. That's $1,500 a year back in your pocket. But the great thing is, yes, you have pay options for cable channels. You can get Fox News and CNN, the exact same thing you're paying cable and satellite for, right? For a lot less money and no contracts. Like I said, there's bundles of 40, 60 channels for like, you know, uh, 20, 30 bucks a month, but there's no contracts. So if you're like, hey, I just lost my job or, hey, I actually want to retire sometime and, and not keep working until I'm like 80 years old, you can shut that stuff down and not be paying a thing, right? And just have all this free stuff. So that's the benefit of a lot of things I'm showing you today with these, these top free apps is it just puts you in control with a lot of great content that you probably never even knew existed out there. Uh, and that's what we, when we come and install at your house, that's what we show and we set it up so it's really easy to access and get to. And you can favorite things, you can subscribe to things so that it really over time just makes it easier and better because it's kind of like intelligent TV. It actually understands what you're doing and says, oh, hey, if you like this, you're probably like this. So anyway, you can also search for things out here so like let's say you like uh free tv you can search for free tv uh let's say you like like gardening you can actually search for gardening and it'll come back and they'll say oh hey like here is a channel called epic gardening so you can actually come out and say hey i want to subscribe to this channel you know up here just like you did with free tv and if you subscribe to that it'll pop it into your uh, your subscriptions there and you'll get free updates every day so then when you go back to your home or to your subscriptions further down, it'll just give you kind of all that good stuff right front and center. So pretty cool. So that's YouTube. Um, I actually watch a lot of volleyball that I love through, through YouTube for free without paying a thing. I'm going to hit the home button, go back home. Again, super simple, right? If you ever get lost, like what the heck's going on? I forgot where I'm at. You just hit the home button and it takes you back home, right? So on your home screen, we'll come down again to your apps here. We talked about the free stuff, right? Pluto, IMDb, there's a bunch of other stuff. We talked about YouTube. Uh, the next thing we're gonna talk about is Amazon Prime. Uh, a lot of people don't realize this, but Amazon Prime, yes, it's not free. So I, I'm, I'm leading you a little bit further down. The reason I'm talking about this though is because I think about probably 50% of the people that are tuned in today probably have Amazon Prime. If you're a customer, we've hooked you up and you have Amazon Prime front and center, so it's really easy to use. A lot of people, though, get Amazon Prime for shipping, which is great, right? Free shipping, a whole bunch of other benefits. You actually get free books. You get free music. Uh, you also get free videos, too, though. So that's what I'm going to show you next. Uh, Amazon Prime is like right around 100 bucks a year, 120 bucks a year. So pretty darn inexpensive for everything that you get. It's pretty amazing, the content you get. Um, Amazon Prime is actually an app that you can, you know, access a bunch of stuff through. And a lot of people use it maybe 
on their computer to order stuff, but they're not taking advantage of all the free stuff. So <clears throat> Amazon actually has a lot of great original content that they've created that's like winning awards, whether that's TV shows or movies or things like that. It's really similar to Netflix is probably the best way to think about it. So what we recommend for our customers to do is maybe keep Netflix for like two or three months, binge watch it, right? You kind of have to do a paradigm shift in your thinking. We're kind of programmed with the old cable and satellite of, oh, we're paying $200 a month for 200 channels that I don't even watch, right? And I'm watching Netflix like more than I watch my cable and satellite, right? So it's dumb. Why would you pay for cable and satellite if you don't even watch it? It makes no sense, right? You're throwing away all this money and you can't retire or you got to unretire to go back to work because you're throwing all this money away to cable and satellite. That's ridiculous, right? There's, there's, there's ways to get the same exact cable and satellite channels for a lot less money, which we'll show you towards the end. And even better, there's ways to get free stuff, right? So anyway, Amazon Prime has all this great stuff that they're creating, but they also have shows from like the History Channel, right? Or old shows and movies. Uh, that's from the Sci-Fi Channel. So there's an amazing, this is from Discovery Channel. This is just, again, the tip of the iceberg, right? We're just touching on a couple things here. There are so many things out here to watch, you'll be blown away. You can also rent new release movies, by the way. Uh, those are pay options, obviously. You can subscribe to individual channels. So if you want to get like HBO or Showtime a la carte or Stars a la carte or like Major League Baseball. So there's a lot of uh, pretty amazing stuff. I'm going to actually hit the, uh, the home button here and go back. That's all just Amazon Prime. I've added actually some stuff that I like to kind of my videos, kind of make my watch list. So if I go over here to your videos, like you can see there's a Rockies game coming up that I can watch. I have a lot of volleyball stuff that I can watch. So um, if I go down, for instance, I can actually go in and uh, check out like whatever, some of these volleyball tournaments that I, that I have, and they're just on demand, right? So I can watch like individual matches. Um, I can watch the whole entire tournament on demand, commercial free, and I can skip commercials and things like that. So, you know, pretty cool stuff. So again, that's the third app, that's Amazon Prime. Uh, they got some old school stuff on here, but we get to the, the new stuff. Like you can see like the quality is just as good as your cable and satellite. It's just a bunch of free stuff, right? That you care. About. I think that's the other important thing. It's what you want to watch when and where you want to watch it, right? We're kind of programmed about oh, 200 channels with cable and satellite, 200 bucks a month. They put it on auto pay. They're sucking the money away, right? Why would you do that? It makes no sense. Uh, we've just been programmed to think that way. So with this, I just come out here. I got a bunch of free stuff that I want to watch, the stuff that I care about, right? The content, the subjects, the genres that I care about that I just save. And whenever I need to watch something, I just come out here and boom, boom, click, click. I'm watching something. So super simple. Um, so anyway, that's, that's a lot of the great stuff. Remember, all of this doesn't work unless you have a good stream media player plus a good mesh Wi-Fi network, which is obviously what we install. And then there's some other pieces of hardware kind of behind the scenes, which are more techie, techie and complicated. And you gotta have a good internet connection. Now, don't overpay for internet. Again, your cable and satellite, you call into them, you're like, hey, my internet's not working. They're like, oh, you need more speed, you need more speed. Unfortunately, they don't, they don't tell you, but actually the fail point we find most of the time, the vast majority of the time, is actually the modem router they rent you, ironically, for 13, 14 bucks a month. Is a piece. So we've come out, we replace all that stuff, so you're saving the rental fees, and so you have rock solid coverage everywhere throughout your house, even out in your backyard, if you're streaming music or working outside or whatever. Um, so all that stuff is really key for all the streaming things that I'm showing you, all these free things. Um, so next, I'm gonna hit the home button here. We're going to get into music. So, yes, there's all kinds of great free TV stuff. You know, I showed you just three apps. There's even more than that, quite frankly. Um, next, I'm going to show you music. So if we go down here to our apps, um, the first thing I'll show you actually is an app called TuneIn Radio. A lot of people have not heard of this. Uh, you can actually uh, use this as an app on your phone. You can use it for an app on your computer. You can use it for the streaming media player on your TV. There's a lot of different ways to do it. 
So TuneIn Radio has any radio station from around the country, around the world, pretty much free. Um, they also have it filtered by like genres. So you can have like news radio, talk radio, sports radio, whatever you want, really. There's also podcasts on here. So you can see this is just what's on live right now. So we're, you know, we got pop music, rock music, country, kind of whatever you want. Uh, you can actually favorite stuff. Uh, you can search for things specifically if you're looking for a certain artist or genre or a certain station. Um, if we come into browse here, like you can see right now, I'm just on local radio. So if I go out to the right here, um, I have all, this is just like my local radio stations in Colorado right now. And it's, it's pretty cool. You can see like it's all the same exact stations that you would have uh you know just tuning in the radio in colorado right uh if i come back over to the left i can go to sports radio and i can even filter that by whatever i want sports talk radio so you can see like there's altitude sports radio there's espn radio on right now uh there's all the fans on there so there's all kinds of stuff same deal if i got to news radio same type of thing so again, the sky is the limit. It's pretty much anything you can possibly think of available out there. You can actually get podcasts through here. Um, so that that's TuneIn Radio. Pretty pretty cool uh, pretty cool setup. I'll hit home, <clears throat> and the next thing I'm going to show you is also other free music apps, and there are Pandora or Spotify. Uh, Personally, I use Spotify I like a little bit better because of the searchability and what have you. So I'm going to go into that. Uh, Spotify is, and Pandora really, are just free streaming music services. And you can obviously search, you know, for content here by artist name, by song name, by album name, whatever you want to do. Uh, once you start adding stuff to your library, you can actually create playlists or they have their own playlists. Um, like you can see, I have different stations here. Uh, these are just kind of like their stations. So I could literally pick like whatever different types of country hits from the sixties, the eighties, the nineties, like doesn't matter. Pretty much anything is possible. I can search by artists. So like I can go in and say, Hey, I want to play some, some Phil Collins, and that's it, right? It just starts streaming it up. And you can hear I got the volume down, but hey, it's the same stuff. Instead of having to deal with all your CDs and DVDs and all that crazy stuff, this is the new world, right, where we're not wasting a bunch of uh, the environment away, quite frankly, and a bunch of money buying stuff. It's all just right here streaming for free legally. Um, so anyway, that's... Some different options there. If you, you know, you can follow it or add it to your playlist. Um, again, you can see there's pretty much anything you want to do is, is possible in here. And you can filter by whatever you want. So there's like 90s hits. There's acoustic rock. Um, again, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, you can search for stuff in different genres. So like, for instance, over here, it's got like some of the top lists. Uh, it's got workout music, it's got rock, it's got country. You can search by different decades. So if you're into like the classics and 60s and stuff, you can do that. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty amazing how they have it kind of categorized and divided up. And actually, I'll go into one of these here just so you can kind of see. Even within this, if I go into like, let's say jazz, even within jazz, they have like classical jazz, smooth jazz, chill jazz, jazz funk, women of jazz, classical jazz. So, I mean, you can go out here and just add this playlist to your uh, subscription, kind of your favorites, basically, and then play whatever you want, right? When, play it whenever you want, whenever you want for free. Um, so anyway, that's Spotify or Pandora, pretty similar, they're pretty similar to each other. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is actually more related to your personal photos and videos. 
So there's an app on here. <clears throat> i mute this again. That, and you can't get internet access on here too, by, by the way. Uh, it's a photos app. And it's pretty cool. It'll actually automatically back up your photos from your cell phone. So like if you ever lose your phone, you still have them. Um, the other cool thing it'll do too is it'll organize things for you. You can actually go out and organize it even better, which I haven't taken the time to do because I'm just too busy to do it, quite frankly. But, um, you know, you can organize it by trips or whatever. Um, like you can see it actually automatically does this by, by dates, by names of, of people. Um, so like you can see that there's my kids, my wife. So it actually organizes it that way. It organizes it by trips. So if you have someone that's like, hey, you know, we're going to Costa Rica, we can actually have them over. And on our big screen TV, we can say, hey, this is our trip to Costa Rica. Let me show you a slideshow. And again, this is all free, right? Pretty awesome. So you can go through and just show people, whatever, pictures of your grandkids or trips you've taken or things like that. You can enjoy it yourself and set, set up like, you know, slideshow screensavers for yourself. Uh, or you can, sh you know, share it with friends and family, you know, however you want to do it. Pretty cool stuff. So anyway, that's, that's just one option. If I go back here to the home. Again, this is backing up all of your pictures and videos automatically. Um, so like you can see, this is just in two, 2014, some of the trips we took, like there's a video, you can tell because it has the time on there. So if you want to show, this is kind of a funny video of uh, my dog in the skate park, not understanding that there's nothing on the other side. Whoop, he just dropped out. <laughs> so um, again, it backs it up and it also allows you to kind of enjoy all those time, all the time you've taken your whole entire life, right? Taking pictures and videos and you never get to enjoy them except for on your computer, your little tiny phone, you can actually enjoy this on your big screen TV front and center. So it's definitely something we set up for our customers and show them how to use that if they want to, um, along with all these other free apps I've been showing you. Uh, I'm gonna hit the home button again. So the other last free thing is kind of what we let out with. It has actually not much to do with streaming at all. It's more related to uh, TV and that's the antenna. So again, We've been doing this for 10 years. We, we only install outdoor attic antennas for a reason because the crappy little cheapo indoor ones just don't work and you gotta put one on every TV or clutter up your house. Most important is reception. But if I come over here to this live TV section, yes, I have a lot of my apps for some of the cable channels and stuff, um, which I'll actually show you that a little, uh, touch on that a little bit here in a second. But it's pretty cool because I can actually get into my antenna channels off of the grid TV guide, you know, stuff like C, like stuff like CBS, CW, ABC, Fox, NBC. Those are all the free channels I get off of the antenna. There's some cable channels integrated in here that aren't off the antenna for free. Those are pay options, but we have an interface that we uh, connect people with to make it easier. So you don't have to have a bunch of remotes and change inputs and go back and forth. Um, so anyway, I'll tune into like NBC News here. And again, the antenna is kind of the hidden weapon that a lot of people forget about or don't even know about, or they do it wrong, quite frankly, where it doesn't work. Um, really about 80% of our customers, we always recommend an antenna because it's always free. So it's $0 a month. So it's kind of your base for TV. Obviously free is free is free forever. There's no taxes and box fees and DVR fees and HD fees. So even the ability to like pause live TV like I just did and skip commercials and record shows and stuff like that. This is, this is the same stuff that's playing live that you're paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month to cable and satellite for that's totally free. So the antenna is going to get you 50, 60 channels for free. It's all your major networks, ABC, NBC, Fox, CBS, PBS, the whole bunch of stuff like that. Every single Broncos game is free all your local news, all the main network shows, the top 50 shows that people watch are actually free off of an antenna. So why are you paying cable and satellite hundreds of dollars a year for it, right? It makes no sense. So with this, 
you can see the HD quality is actually better than what you pay for. This is just a live feed. If you're watching NBC right now with cable and satellite, you're getting the same thing. You're just paying $200 a month for it, right? Again, doesn't make sense. Um, the ability to pause live TV, and if I go back, the ability to have like the grid guide and like set up recordings so I can record the episode of their series. That is built into the hardware that we install, which is a couple of different things, but you don't need to worry about that. You just sit back and relax. We take care of everything. You can see I just set up a recording. So it'll just record that show. It's got the little red dot on there, so it's ready to record. It's just that simple, right? There's no monthly rate for any of this stuff. So literally you're taking the $200 a month. We're getting you down to $40, $50 a month. All this stuff is totally free. The only thing you pay for is if you want to pay for cable channels. All the other stuff I've showed you today is totally free. 98% um, of the cable channels you can actually get via these other services. Um, so you can get Fox News. You can get CNN, Discovery Channel. Basically, any channel you want, even even like I said, uh, with the Colorado Rockies now, you can actually get AT&T, uh, Sportsnet, Rocky Mountain now uh, via pay service, uh, even as a court cutter. So that'll be our topic next week for the webinars. Um, so, so definitely tune in uh, next week. If I go back home here too, by the way, we just covered the, the free options today for the most part. But obviously, we just take your other stuff like Netflix, which is really inexpensive. That's great where you subscribe to Sling or, or whatever. There's different options to get cable channels, uh, you know, for like 20, 30 bucks a month for a bundle of like 40, 60 cable channels. No contracts, cancel whenever you want. There's even a bundle now that has AT&T uh, Sportsnet for, for Colorado Rockies baseball games. The best part about that is the Rocky season is only two months, right? With cable and satellite, you have to pay for, for that bundle way up here for 200, 250 bucks a month. And you got to keep it 12 months out of the year. With what we're doing, we we allow you, we give you access to it for two months for when the Rockies games are on, and then it's gone, right? Or let's say COVID hits again, right? You've been paying for all these sports channels through cable and satellite for the last five months. There hasn't been any sports on. With what we do, you can shut you can shut that off so you're not paying a thing, right? So you know, again, that's how we we get it so that our customers are really saving the most money every month and having the most flexibility and obviously ease of use too, of course. One remote, everything's here. So, you know, that's how we sell our customers on average $1,500 every year. So going back to the, uh, the website real quick, and I'll get to some of the questions here and kind of recap. Um, again, our, our next blog next week is, is all about how cord cutters get sports. So for next week, just click on watch a webinar. That'll take you to a link that has all the webinars coming up for the next month. Um, we'll have a lot of different topics related to antennas and streaming and saving money. The topic for next month though is a really good one. So if you know anybody that is looking to get sports and is worried about, oh, I can't get sports as a cord cutter. Actually, that's not the case anymore. You can pretty much get all the Nuggets, all the rest of the Nuggets games that are coming on the air this weekend and going forward in the playoffs all the Avs games, all the Colorado Rockies games, every single Denver Broncos game, believe it or not, you can actually get it for free uh, in better HD. Um, so that'll be next week's webinar topic. So whether you're a customer, whether you're new to free TV, if you have friends or family that are afraid to cut the cord because they, they need their sports, hey, don't worry about it. You can get your sports nowadays if you want to. Um, just click on watch the webinar and then you know sign up for next week's Wednesday webinar. Every Wednesday, we have free webinars at 11.30. So weekly Wednesday webinars. Bookmark our website uh, you know, on your web browser. Bookmark it. Subscribe to our, our YouTube page. If you're new to free TV, I would even take it a step further. Everybody's situation is different. So the best way to do that is just click on our website, frwetvwe.com. And then right in the top where it says schedule a call, that's for new customers where we can just have a one-on-one -on -one consultation. You can say, hey, here's how much I'm paying every month. Here's the channels, here's the top five channels we care, you know, my, my spouse and I need to have, and we can give you a real personalized consultation and, and uh, let you know exactly how much money we can save you and exactly how much you'll be paying up front. Uh, yes, with cord cutting, you do pay up front, but you can do the math, right? If you're saving $1,500 a year, your return on investment is three, four, five, six, seven months tops. And then after that, you're saving $125 or whatever a month forever. 
So you're back in control again and saving a bunch of money. Um, I'm going to get some of the questions here. Uh, so let's see. Can you get Apple TV as an app? Yes, you can. So it's kind of confusing because there's a lot of different apps out there. But Teresa had a question. And by the way, actually, I should get to Anita's question first up top. Crackle is a free app, kind of like Pluto or IMDb. Each of them have their own thing, right? Some of them work well, some of them don't work well, some of them have free stuff, some of them have commercials, some of them don't have commercials. So I would just try them all and see which ones you like the best, right? There's so much content out there, you could watch them constantly and never pay for a thing. Um, my personal favorites are the ones I showed you today, Pluto and IMDb, so I would check those out. Teresa had a question, can you get Apple TV app? Uh, yes, you can. So. Apple TV is kind of a streaming service that is, a, they probably have a couple free things, but it's mainly a pay option. Kind of like Hulu, um, where you, know, you can get on-demand content that you pay for via streaming. Um, my suggestion would be, yes, you can get Apple TV. I would just subscribe to it for like a month or two. You'll probably get a free trial, and then I would dump it. And then I would get Hulu and maybe subscribe to that for a month or two and then dump it. And then I get Netflix, subscribe to that for a couple months and then dump it. And then I get HBO, subscribe to that for a couple months and dump it. That's only if you feel like paying for stuff. Obviously, a lot of the free stuff I showed you today will get you around that as well. Um, so Dick has a question here. I have internet through Xfinity and streaming through YouTube TV, which just up the cost to 65. Can YouTube TV cost be limited? Yeah, so that's a good question. Um, predict there about YouTube TV. So your Xfinity internet, you know, you should be getting that for hopefully right around 50, 55 bucks a month for like hundred megabits per second. If you're not, you know, give them a call and, and work through that. Just internet only. They'll try to sell you some smoke and mirrors deal with their new Peacock streaming service and the Flexbox, which we actually have a webinar about those in two weeks, by the way, if you want to sign up for that. But just like traditional Xfinity, it's, it's in Comcast, it's bait and switch pricing. There's more fees. Don't be fooled. It's not worth going there because you're going to get more and more charges. Um, so to Dick's question, we actually wrote a blog on that. So if you go to our website and you go to the news section here, that'll take you to our blog. And if you scroll down a little bit here, there'll be one specifically that talks about... <clears throat> YouTube TV price increase. And actually, really, it's not just YouTube TV. It's all these guys that have local channels in there. The local channels alone charge $20 per customer for ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox. Cable and satellite especially, your bills are always going to be $200 bundles and higher. It's always going to get worse and worse and worse. Even these streaming options that have local channels in there, we don't recommend that for most people. We recommend getting an antenna and installing that, which is a big part of what we do, because that's going to eliminate the local channels and always give you the freedom to cancel whenever you want and just use free options and not pay a thing. And it gives you the freedom to not have to worry about paying those extra fees for the major networks. So if you scroll down on this page, it actually talks about the price increases, why they're happening, and what to do about it, right? So you can kind of see it compares, like even if you're a cord cutter with YouTube TV, it's always gonna be less expensive than your gigantic $200 bundle from pay TV. But to your question, Dick, I would just go down here and kind of look through here. This basically gives you your options that we recommend. Uh, the antenna with flexible freedom is probably the best option unless you're stuck in an apartment and you can't get an antenna um, is the short version. Uh, so Nita, going back to another question here at the bottom, how do you turn the radio off? Oh yeah, so it's kind of funny. It'll keep playing until you hit the play pause button. Uh, or you can actually maneuver around the interface and do it as well. But on the remote control, probably the easiest thing is to hit the play pause because it'll kind of play in the background. So you could actually play music in the background and actually do go do go to your photos at the same time, uh, which is pretty cool. So like if I went out here and I said, hey, I want to play Spotify, I'll turn the music back on. And let's say I want to play Spotify. Uh, 
And I want to play my Phil Collins again. So now it's playing. So I'm on it. So I can actually select it again and pause it. You can see I can add it to my favorites. But if I let that play and I hit home, like Anita's talking about, it's kind of cool because you can actually go in and pull up like photos and do a, let's say a slideshow of this while my music's playing, right? So pretty cool. And you can always, if something's totally out of whack, you can always reboot too, obviously. But basically, just go back into the app and you'll see the play pause there. So anyway, uh, that's that's kind of a wrap for us today. Um, thanks for joining. Like I said, share uh, share the website with friends and family, frweetvwe.com. Uh, we do pay our customers back for referrals. So if you have anybody that's getting ripped off from cable and satellite, especially someone that thinks they need to keep cable and satellite because of sports, you know, have them tune into the webinar next week. Uh, have them go to our website, schedule a call with us. Uh, again, future webinars, if you just go to the website, frweetvwe.com, click on watch a webinar. Uh, I'll actually show you real quick. Super simple. We always update the next webinar and put it out there. But also, too, there's a link in here to view all cord cutting webinars. And that'll show you kind of what's coming up in the future. So, again, next week is how to get any sport as a cord cutter, NFL, NBA, hockey, MLB, Colorado Rockies that you can get now. We'll show you how to get all the Nuggets games pretty much and then all the Avs games, all the Denver Broncos games. Um, so that one's coming up next week on August 5th. And the one after that is about the Xfinity Flex and Peacock. Um, so we got a bunch of great stuff coming up. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate, uh, appreciate you guys supporting free TV and sharing this with uh, friends and family. Don't forget to, uh, subscribe to the channel and then just go to the website and sign up for future webinars under watch a webinar. All right. Thanks. Take care. Have a good day.